Well, hello, Celebration family. Once again, we gather together around God's Word. Well, as you know, we have been talking about the importance of, of enhancing and establishing our relationship with God based on the fact that He is real. And because He is real, we need to understand why it's important to have a relationship with Him. And that can be is enhanced when we understand that nothing that takes place in this world is a surprise to God. Nothing is a shock to him. He is able to, to manage and navigate and lead us through all of the challenges and difficulties that life brings our way, simply because he's alive. He's real. He is actually someone who is involved in the affairs of this life. And you and I can rest in assurance that God cares for us, that he is watching over us and making a way for us. In fact, he even says, seek me and you will find me. Isaiah 55, 6 says, seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. And certainly you and I have an opportunity to call upon the name of the Lord. All of the situations and circumstances that take place in our lives are mere opportunities for us to call on God, for God to be able to uh, demonstrate how much he cares for us, how much he is involved in our lives. In fact, the, the psalmist says in Psalm 63, 1, he says, Oh God, you are my God. I shall seek you earnestly. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh yearns for you in a dry and weary land where there is no water. And so you and I may find ourselves in dry and weary conditions and we've all been thirsty before. In fact, here I am in Arizona and uh, it is pretty dry here. This is dry heat, they tell me. And they say that dry heat is the best kind of heat. Well, I'm not a big fan of a whole lot of heat. And I can tell you that certainly uh, the hotter it gets and the more heat there is, the more thirsty I get. I want more water. I need to be refreshed. I would like to experience the refreshing, uh, life-giving waters of the Word of God washed over me as I go through times of trouble and difficulty. It encourages you. It builds you up. It enables you. It enhances you so that your faith in God continues to grow. And as your faith grows, you are able to endure all the various challenges and difficulties that may come your way. Know that God is for you. He's not against you. His desire is to have a relationship with us. And all we need to do is follow him and he will guide us in the way that we should go. In fact, the psalmist says in Psalm 42, 1, he says, as a deer pants for the water brooks, so my soul pants for you, O God. Oh, I pray that you are panting for the Lord today. I pray that you are seeking the Lord with all your heart, that you're in pursuit of God. I tell you, even as the deer pants after the water brooks, oh, we ought to be thirsty. We ought to be hungry for God. We ought to be in pursuit of him. We ought to follow him uh, to the, 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 the most of our ability. In fact, the King James uh, says, uh, of Psalm 38, 8. He says, My soul follows hard after thee. Thy right hand upholds me. And certainly, we need God to uphold us. And uh, the New American Standard says, My soul clings to you. Your right hand upholds me. I pray that you're clinging to God. It's the picture of the, the idea that God is on the move. God is moving. This is why the Word of God says your blessings will overtake you. And as we pursue God, the blessings of God, they are in, we're in the wake of them. We're in the wake of God's blessing. And so as God moves, as he flows, we're able to see and know the faithfulness of God. Oh, saints of God, I pray that you're clinging to God. I, I pray that you are following hard after God. Oh, follow hard after him. As God moves, we hang on and we go for the Lord, the ride. God brings us along as he moves. How awesome is that? How exciting is that to know that we are going along through life in while clinging to God, holding on to him. He is 
ordering the footsteps of the righteous. And so Deuteronomy 4.29 says, he says, uh, he says, for there you will seek the Lord your God and you will find him if you search after him with all your heart and with all your soul. God says, look, don't play games with me. Don't, don't be in and out. Don't be wishy-washy. He says, seek me with your whole heart. Even the Israelites understood that if God was going to fight for them, if God was going to provide for them and make a way for them as they were going uh, through the, the dry and weary land of the wilderness, uh, certainly they needed to follow God. You and I need to learn how to follow God. We need to know the importance of pursuing God, of allowing God to lead us and guide us in the way that we should go so that as we age, as we get older, as we persevere through life, that we would not depart from it, but our faith would be rooted, strengthened in God, that we would be raised up in the might of the Spirit of the Lord. This is why the psalmist says in Psalm 16, 8, verse 8, he says, I have set the Lord continually before me because he is at my right hand. I will not be shaken. Saints of God, you don't have to be shaken. I am not going to be shaken. Why? Because I have set the Lord at my right hand. That's the place of authority. That is the seat that allows him to have influence in our life. I pray that God has influence in your life. I pray that you're in the seat of godly authority whereby he is speaking to you, where he is ministering to you, where he is building you up and encouraging you, where he's enabling you to move to the left or to the right as he navigates you through life. No matter how dry and weary this land may be, you can have victory in your life. You can overcome obstacles in your life. You can have love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, gentleness. It all can be overflowing, not just a little bit here and there and as things go well, but it can be a part of your identity. It can be who you are, regardless of the situations or the circumstances. God is real. He is able. And He is with us. And He is there. If you just set Him before you, pursue Him with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul, go hard after God, and God will make a way for you. And you will know for yourself that God is real.